Good morning, Lisa, please. Good morning, this is she. Brian Sanderson, good morning. I'm calling on behalf of the county courthouse where you were trying to get your name changed on your marriage license, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, your situation was forwarded to me from the supervisors there. Now what I'm trying to figure out what exactly happened here, now I'm showing up on the paperwork here. Excuse me one second. <coughs> I'm showing up on the paperwork here that you attempted to get a name change after the free grace period had passed. Oh um, see I didn't know anything about a grace period. And in actuality what happened here is you've been undercharged actually and it's gonna be. It's gonna be an additional 125 in fees that we need to go ahead and get all that late paperwork in. 125. Yes, ma'am. $125 for what? Those for additional fees, ma'am. And what are they for? Well, it's for the grace period which already passed. Now your tone with me is starting to get a little unruly. Well, it's going to be unruly if you were telling me I got to come out another $125 to get my name changed. It can stay the same, I don't care. Well, you're probably going to be divorced anyway. No, we're not gonna probably be divorced, nothing. Well, if you got married last June and you just know getting your license and just now getting your name changed, it took you that long to figure out that you loved a nigga. What? Who the hell is this? Brian Sanderson, sweetie. Well, what hell is Brian? Who? Sweetie, I'm the supervisor of everybody down at the county. Well, how you going to be the supervisor of any damn body when you know you know damn well you ain't supposed to be talking to people like you talking to people? You need to be a little more professional than what you're being. Baby, I'm real. I come to people real. I'm the supervisor. Well, if you're a supervisor, you better start acting like a supervisor before you end up getting your super head busted. Lisa, I will come and slap you two times. And then when you do when you bring your dumb ass over here and slap me you gonna be reaching back and up. I wouldn't have married your ugly ass. Well what the hell. I don't wanna marry your bald head ass either. Baby I got hair. You must don't. You look like one of the X-Men. You know what? You so ugly you look like you got superpowers. You got superpowers baby. You done lost your motherfucking mind in real life. I'm just asking. Just ask yourself why the hell you woke up this morning and go to that damn job calling people harassing people on the damn phone. You don't be cussing people who the hell do you think you is? You want to talk shit? You done lost your motherfucking mind in real life. Y'all was already married since you'd been living together. We wasn't already married shit how the hell is somebody gonna be married that's a big? Don't you know that? Y'all was ghetto married. Y'all been living together eight years. You get all married. Is you married? Are you gay? Cause you done lost your motherfucking mind for real. Don't curse me, baby. Don't tell me what to do. I'm grown, damn it. I curse at whoever the hell I want to curse at them whenever the hell I feel like cursing at them. Don't call me talking crazy to me about no damn marriage license you don't know nothing about. You need to go them kids tested. You need to go get your ass another job. Before you fuck around and get fired. Them kids ain't his. He know that asshole. They ain't his. I was just guessing. Well don't be guessing no more. They ain't none of his kids and he know they ain't none of his kids. They got their own damn daddy. We already knew that before we got married. So what the hell is you talking about? That's why he ain't wanna go get that marriage license because he don't like them kids. Shut yo dumb ass up why would you call someone acting stupid now that was real stupid for you to say that. I'm just... I'm just saying you got badass kids and that's why he don't wanna get that marriage license. You don't even know my damn kids asshole. Well I'll tell you what how about this Lisa. You just go ahead and um... You know who told me to call you baby. Who? Your co-worker Timon. What? It's a prank phone call, baby. It's comedian Roy Wood Jr. What's going on? Oh my god. You know what? Time and I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill her, oh my god. It's the Buck Wild Morning Show at 95. 7 Jam you was not playing. You will like. Look, don't you worry about. Alright, Lisa, have a good one. You too. Bye.